Uh, season two of Bloomers is, I think, a lot racier. It pushes the envelope. It kind of takes season one and puts it on like <laughs> on some sort of drug. Joanna really struggles in season two. I think that she pushes herself to do things that are scary for her, and she goes to an, a lot of uncharted territory for herself personally. We are not going to have vaginal intercourse, but I am going to make you feel good. You can start with a hand job, right? Oh, I love today. <laughs> Don't judge me. I've never done this before, but I am going to work like a Girl Scout to get you off. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Mm. Oh no. What? Oh no. Oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. You don't want this, do you? No, no. My. I faced, um, kind of like my character, I faced personal challenges in season two because it's stuff that I had never done before and I had to ask myself whether um, I felt that, that I could do it. And what I'm talking about specifically is like, you know, the romantic and, you know, I don't even know how to say it, but <laughs> sexual stuff involving um, Joanna's character. And I just realized that I trust the, trusted the creators and um, I wanted them, I wanted to help them to to kind of complete the vision of this character, at least exploring this aspect of it. And who knows in season three, it'll probably be, you know, a completely different aspect of Joanna. There are so many, so many fun memories from the set of season two. Watching um, Kristen and Holly on the ice, I thought it was just magical and I felt like I was a part of something really big and um, it was exciting.